This podcast is part of the Big Heads Media Podcast Network. Go to BigHeadsMedia.com for more great podcasts. They are voice actors. They're heard in video games, cartoons, and commercials, and they are married. What? Wait a minute, Danny, you and I are married? I swear to know that. It's legal now. Idea. Joining us today are Kyle McCarley and Caitlin Galt, voice actors in love. I'm Jamie Alcroft, fellow voice actor, and with your uh, Danny Mann, fellow voice actor, a uh, hail fellow voice hail. actor, and voiceover, and a woman who does voices, the role of the host of this podcast, it's Louise Palenka. Louise. Welcome to the panel. Kyle Louise. and Caitlin have embarked on a very special Arr. mission. They have sacrificed an afternoon and journeyed far across Studio City and parts of Sherman Oaks to help us boomers understand the truth that is Twitch. Brace for epic adventure. But first, uh, before we get started, I want to just go to my uh, two co-hosts and ask if there's any news to report. Oh, I thought you were going to tell us to shut up. Because oh, no. we're making a lot of noise today. We were really, we were really making a lot of noise. Um, well... Well, uh, ahead, yeah, Danny. the the eight hundred pound elephant in the room, and if the Grammy started off this way, certainly our show can. But I just want to say a word or two about uh, how sad I'm still feeling about uh, the loss of uh, Kobe and his friends and 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 family and kids, and it just uh, uh, it hit me a lot harder than I thought. And I'm not a big bat. You don't have to be a basketball fan no. or a sports fan. Just You're just a human. human being, exactly. Yeah. And. Also, it turns out that the flight path was practically over where I live, and I had been out that morning looking up at the sky thinking, my God, that fog looks so thick and heavy, and then what happened happened, and I was just blown yeah. away by it. But anyway, I just wanted to say that, uh, you know, well, thoughts, thoughts it, and prayers it, and feelings are floating in the air. And, yeah, to, to move away from the funny for a minute. That part uh, was, that wasn't yeah, funny at all. Yeah, um, You know, it's, it's, it's odd to me, uh, and it always is, that when somebody famous passes like that and uh that um it, it is such a profound grieving experience for people who didn't even know them who we we become so attached and and because of uh, social media and and the media we learn about these people we feel that we know them and when they or their loved ones die or are touched by some disaster in some way I don't know. It's 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 an interesting phenomenon to me uh, that, that that happens. That it can be such a uh, a, a group grieving experience. No matter uh, how much and, of life we experience, we, it, the birth of every child is a miracle. It is, and and a yeah. tragic sudden loss is always <sighs> beyond imagination. It's breathtaking. Every yeah. time it happens, we mm -hmm. just we picture a healthy man and these beautiful people stepping into a helicopter excited about their day going to a day going to a game and yeah it was it her game they were going to yeah he, i would it, assume so yeah he has yeah. a basketball center that he sponsors up and i think it's in thousand oaks and uh yeah. three uh, of the kids were going and their parents and one of the guys was the head coach at i think orange orange yeah. coast college and mm -hmm. oh. i mean the connections between them were all through the kids yeah. but uh um you know it was all positive stuff and good stuff and uh mm -hmm. And he was uh, not not everybody famous is is necessarily beloved, but he seemed to have reached the tentacles were so wide and uh, well, he did so much good yeah. with his life. He's he like Magic Johnson, you know. I mean, people like that they just they take their celebrity and they put it to good use. And I I always really admire. Yeah, that. I always salute that. Of course, Lane. Yeah, well, I was just gonna say. I mean, he's clearly. I mean, I haven't been in L.A. for so long, but it's just like palpable how much he means to the city. I was driving to work last night and i go through downtown and just like the korean air building having all the colors and his bus and then all of the purple and gold it was just like mm. you felt yeah. an entire city like yeah you know what's amazing something. is they, they were yeah. doing that crazy. in every basketball and hockey arena in mm -hmm. both leagues some yeah, kind of tribute was, and some kind of yeah, color thing and powerful the girl who was singing the national anthem in vancouver last night had his jersey on. i mean it was well, just walking around santa barbara you keep seeing kobe kobe jerseys and I think people are going to be wearing them for a while. Yeah, and I don't yeah. want to sound trite, but why can't something like that bring us all together? I mean, you know, why can't we're we're so politically well it, at odds for with a minute each other? It does. I mean, but, you know, it, it's when when a shared hero passes like that, maybe there is some sort of humanity that comes comes into play that that brings out the humanity in us. Or it reminds us of how much we do share. In terms yeah. of like we all yeah. love, we all grieve. 
Those yeah. are human. Those, yeah. It's like he says that these nanoseconds of commonality where all of a sudden everybody just forgets any boundary and, mm -hmm. and you know, reach, yeah. reaches out and, or, you know, we share something that's palpable. Ah, the mystery of life. Yes. Yes. True. All right. Life. Well, let's take a hard left uh, <laughs> into the world of voiceovers. <laughs> and, uh, Jamie's wanna, signaling the hard left. I want to say, oh, thank <laughs> yeah. you for the sound effect. I Sometimes always you, use They my need signal. to be explained. Thank you. Um, so we're going to commence with our mission. Is uh, First, we're going to have some exposition. Kyle and Caitlin are voice actors. And I, I think everyone Yay. wants to know, how did you meet? Did you meet at an audition? or? Ooh. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a short show. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Did you use your oh, real yeah. voices when you met each other the first time? Uh, yes. We okay. did. Wow. And you still loved each other. Yeah. We did. Oh. I know. Hey, you're cute. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Who are you? <laughs> we, we met at a... At a mutual friend's Christmas party, yeah, uh, both attempting to date other, other people. people. Yeah, huh. mm -hmm. ah. yeah. How did that work out? Uh, not not so didn't. well with the Which other is, people. Yeah, um, <laughs> somewhere else in tears. The other two people are <laughs> yeah. in jail. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> they have yeah. been convicted. Yes. <laughs> yeah, and then Kyle invited me over because it was Chris it was a Christmas party, and so in the new year he had a game night at his condo. And yeah. he invited me via Facebook. Oh, so social yeah. media oh, is really to thank for this. So touching. It's so modern. So touching. It's so modern. Yeah. Oh my God. Um, no, no. So he invited me. He invited me on Facebook, and I don't know what possessed me because I don't think I knew anybody else. And I'd you met didn't. you once. Yeah. But I was like, he's cute. I wonder well, if he's single. And I have, and who, I have And I have nothing scheduled till March. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, seriously, I was like, it's like the, it's like January fifth. I'm like, what am I doing? I'm not doing anything. So Picture I picture me there. in your profile. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, really. Every scratch the that off my New Year's off. list. By January fifth, you're ready for something yeah. new. And like um, Kyle, did you think she was cute when you first met her? Even yeah, though you were I, with another. I, oh boy, I thought, yeah, talk about no, being I was put not, on the spot. I was not with anybody else. <laughs> Neither no, was I. Was, I. <laughs> we were both attempting oh, to get attempting. with other people oh, that were not interested. You in had us. set your cap for yeah. someone. We yeah. had. Okay. We had. Um, yeah. But I, I, when I first met Caitlin, I thought, wow, she's out of my league. Oh, yeah. that's the cutest. Yeah, that's, that's when, really I first, when I met her tonight, I thought the same thing. <laughs> I've she's had, out of my league. <laughs> yes, yeah, so she's yeah. definitely out of your I've league. I've had so yeah. many no. moments like that in life where I, and afterwards I went, I was right. I was, yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. I don't think so. I, I don't, oh. I don't, I don't know. You guys are young and dating, but do you, do you think is that a thing? Because if you, of course it if is. If you have a common <laughs> interest and they, and you, once a person starts talking there, you just see them differently and, Love is just, it's so in the air. potential, I think, for any time two people share a common interest. She hasn't interest. been the same since I, hair. I think these <laughs> two are equally adorable, but I want to know, is that a thing that... I mean, I think so. I think it's less physical and more just like, if you see like a really cool, attractive person with like a loser, you're like, oh no. I think it's more that, like if someone's like not, how it's more that, like yeah, if they're not emotionally happen? on the same level, less than looks, like... If they're like right. with someone that's yeah. like clearly not cool and like very lame, you're like, all right, what's happening? We're building a case for why you should not be together. Is, it, <laughs> mm -hmm. is, yeah. is, is, is are people ever out of your league? Probably, yeah, I would say yeah. <laughs> but do you consider them to be? I think that's the that's the the telling part right there. If you consider them to be, then they are out of your league because you're not going to talk to them. Right. Yeah, because you're, you're not, not going to try. Yeah, you're not going to try. So you have to you have to figure everybody's in your league. It's all fair game. I mean, I'm I will agree with, with Charlie Saran tonight. Yeah, I will agree with Thomas that there probably are leagues, but the boundaries are very loose. Yeah, and they're I, and they're fluid, and they and boundaries they shift. Fluid. Yeah, it's it's there's leagues, yeah. but it's like, are you willing to bat out of your league more than are you willing to see everyone in your league? Like you can be like, wow, yeah. they're awesome. I'm going to aspire to be as good as them, as opposed to be like, I'll never have a chance. Oh. It's just confidence, right? It's confident. I mean, let's let's be honest. There there's is, also science. There's science backing up. Yeah, there's yeah, science. Meet, I want to meet them because there, no, there's, there's science saying that, that in. people no, wait, tend really? to. I feel something. Uh, date people with similar levels of attractiveness, right? Because it's like a comfort thing between both of you subconsciously that uh, you're like in each other's leagues. Yeah, no, it's I, like a yeah. I yeah, know. no. I had a friend who used <laughs> okay. to say that like oh, that's like any couple that yeah, he knows of, they they have like basically. That. Um, comparative street value. <laughs> <laughs> Comparable street yeah. value. Do you, right. remember, well, so, do you guys on, remember on the face do, of it? Yes. Do you, yeah, remember, do you remember, the, remember the scene in Annie Hall where he's asking people like how they 
hooked up and stuff. And he, there's this gorgeous couple walks by. Both of them are just absolutely. How did you to me? Well, I don't know. I I don't really have much of an opinion about anything, and neither does see and. Yeah. It was like they were both mindless, vacuous. vacuous yeah. and, and say, right. so, so you met and things worked out, yes. Now, I, I, let's get to the matter of the hand. Let's cut to the chase here. Oh, yeah. uh, did, did you guys do voices to each other? Did you know with, that you were both talented in that field before you fell in love? Before you really, huh? What happened there? Uh, okay. Um, uh, go ahead. Unless you want to go. No, okay. Go and what was, I was the not, first voice? Oh, boy. <laughs> no, okay. I was not, I, 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 was, I was an actor, but I had not. I had not launched into a voiceover career yet. Okay. Kyle had. Yeah. Um, and so p one of the ways he kind of wooed me. Woo. I Ooh. know. Wooed. Woo. Um, Don't he be wooed. Had, he had done an audio book <laughs> of a book called- um, Prince of Shadows. Prince of Shadows by Rachel Kane. Uh. And he, and it was a retelling of Romeo and Juliet. And he did a bunch of different dialects and characters. Mm -hmm. and, and I listened to it. And it was so romantic and so wonderful. I was just like, oh my God, oh my God. Just I so love many him. voices. She's, I love him. She's never been a bigger fan of me than she was listening to that. Seriously. Wow. Book. No, I'm serious. Like, That's so cool. This is like Cyrano or Roxanne. Oh, like, <laughs> you, you, when a girl will nerd out on you, yeah. Yeah. that's oh, I the girl for yeah. you. <laughs> oh, I, was, I remember I was working at home and listening to it and being like, oh, he's so good. Uh -huh. <laughs> You had oh to stop God. and have a cigarette or yeah. something. Yeah. I do have this theory that you you fall in love. <laughs> I do have a theory that you fall in love when you're not with the person and you find yourself thinking about them. Yeah, oh. yeah. Like when you're with them, you're too. You're just kind of like in that moment or trying to right. be cool trying or to be in the moment, whatever. Yeah. And you're like, oh, they were whatever. And then if they just keep crossing your mind, that's how I was yeah. with Peggy Lipton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you guys had many <laughs> many wonderful years together. <laughs> the Odd Squad. Yeah. Uh, all right, so let's see. Here's Kyle online. We found him. <clears throat> Kyle does exist online. And I have to, by way of full disclosure, these two are my webmasters for louiseplanker.com. Oh, there's Just my website. And there's Kyle's website, which is exciting and fun. You can hover over different things, it, and then all kinds of it, activities yeah. will wow, well, that's present a good themselves idea. that you may want to go deep and Let's pursue, listen. Peruse and pursue. Let's listen. Oh. You're going to, oh, Can we boy. listen? Are we allowed to listen? Sure. Listen? Your psychic powers have been expanding rapidly since you were given that Aeon Crystal. It's imperative I test its limits for your own sake. Ah! Oh! oh, well, that was fun. Hey, quit messing around and help me take these guys out. Ah! You've never seen a... Awesome. Wow, fantastic. I'd marry How him. youthful. How uh, youthful. So Kyle is a voice actor who you will hear in anime, cartoons, video games, audiobooks, commercials, podcasts, radio plays, e-learning software, phone prompts, and even a talking plush monkey. But we do Where actually else? really else? need to hear the phone prompt. The yeah. phone prompt? Yeah. Yes, please. I haven't done that work in a long while. Mm -hmm. And it goes uh, a little something like this. Uh, <laughs> thank you for calling Electronic Arts. For billing, press one. I don't remember the rest. But that yeah. was you? Oh my God, I, keep I, I talk to you every day. Yeah. <laughs> I fell in love at six. Do you remember how the plush monkey went? Uh, it's time to go, go bananas. Or something like that. Wow, it's very... I don't think that it was a toy that I don't think ever made it past the prototype stage. <laughs> yeah. 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 I, I've can, done a lot I, of I wonder I why. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, why? The toy that never I think happened. I saw plush monkey in concert. Now, Kyle, I'm going to ask you, I can read this next part of your bio, but I, I know you don't have a script in front of you, so I'm going to attempt it, but please help me with these pronunciations. Sure. Mm. Kyle's roles include 9S in Nier, Near, Near Automata, mm -hmm. the hit PS4 action game, Mikazuki August in Mobile Suit Gundam, colon, Iron Blooded Orphans yeah. on you Adult Swim, <laughs> and Mob in Mob Psycho 100 on Funimation, several award-winning audiobooks, Swim. numerous major roles in other video games such as Unipic and Disgaea. Uh, Unepic and Disgaea 5. Yeah. Oh my God. Thank you. Now cover one eye and read Road <laughs> yeah. to Disgaea. Yeah. Several <laughs> commercials on the web, radio and television across the country, including a big game commercial for Taco Bell. And oh. here is Caitlin Galt. Oh, wow. Galt. There's, there's my IMDb. Oh, my like, God. It's this, very it expensive. Oh, boy. <laughs> Caitlin oh, Galt expensive. online. We have Caitlin online. Oh, no. And Caitlin there voiced. There she is. Tanith. Oh, nice photo. Tanith. Oh, thank you. In Nintendo's Fire Emblem Heroes, and yeah. Aya, I can't. 
What's her last <laughs> name? Aya Suji. Suji on Toonami's JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Yep. She oh, also right. voices a snarky Fennec Fox, Feneco. She's on Feneco. She's Fennico on my shirt. In the, I, you, the people that are fans of you guys are just like on the floor. Like, <laughs> yeah. That lady. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> None um, of the, how could, anybody, in the, in no. the hit Netflix anime <laughs> series, Agratsuko. Agratsuko. Let's okay. just hear it. Oh, she is a proud just, member and just, one of the associate artistic directors of Courage Theater Company, LA's only pay what you want theater company. Yeah. Ooh, so we wow, have before you two well known voice actors, Kyle and Caitlin, who stream live on Twitch where they play the games oh, that's in which. my uh, on camera reel, you guys. My voiceover demo reels are in voiceover, just so you know. Oh, <laughs> yeah. They were oh, about let's, to, can yeah. we hear? Oh, yeah. Do we, you we want hear? to hear something of Caitlin? Can we hear, um, please, please, please? Is there a demo? Play my interactive reel, because it's the newest, and I'm proud of it. Okay. <laughs> so it's the third one. Ooh. Parker, we're here. <laughs> but we've got our hands full at the moment. <laughs> An evac team would be nice. To those who would follow in my footsteps, I beseech you, tread carefully. An entire world has paid for my sins. And I alone must bear the burden of the deaths I have caused. Oh, I wish you wouldn't toy with my sadistic instincts. I might get worked up and kill you too quickly. Ah, you stay away from me, you creepy little matchstick. Somebody wow. better tell me what the... Very impressive. Is it very, true you did that good. voice without any technical adjustment? Like you just, <laughs> yeah, none just, whatsoever. Yeah, yeah, that's amazing. She has seven vocal cords. Yeah, yeah. right. Frank <laughs> Welker could do that stuff. So Frank, Kyle, Frank yeah. Welker Frank can, can do that. that. He yeah. can, but yeah. I cannot. Yeah. 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 So Kyle has a Twitch channel. And yes. please explain for all of the grown-ups or boomers that you see present, <laughs> yeah, <'cause> what <laughs> is Twitch? Because we just have a Twitch. You just, yeah, yeah, yeah. you just, we just <laughs> twitching. <laughs> so woke us, please. Get us woke. Woke us, baby. Woke us. Do you want a woke up call? Yeah, woke you up. I love it. Uh, So, Twitch, I mean, you you guys know what YouTube is, right? Sure. Mm -hmm. So, Twitch is a very similar platform, Mm -hmm. um, but where YouTube gets most of its viewership from people coming and watching stuff that's been uploaded and is just like lives there, Twitch is is more about the live viewership aspect. Um, Facebook Live is kind of trying to tap hmm. into that that market as well. So but it's the, just there for ten seconds, and if you miss it, it's gone. I no, mean, no, no, it's there for it's hours. There, it's is there, it there yeah. for hours. Most mm-hmm. okay. most people who Twitch <laughs> yes. Twitch stream will sit <laughs> and play video Twitch. games, and it's it's mostly a video game platform. So uh, playing I video a, games with people watching you play video games. Right. Oh my God, there's me. Okay. I have a Twitch history <laughs> lesson for you, and Kyle and Caitlin, you may or may not know this, but I heard it on a podcast. Probably reply all. So Twitch started out as like a live streaming platform where people would just have like a helmet cam and they would just stream themselves live. And they thought at first when the technology was new, like how cool people are going to get to see me live my whole day. And it was cool at first and people would watch and then it kind of like trailed off and then no one was watching because people's lives are essentially quite boring. (laughs) That's why it's hard to put on a show it can and be do if they the entertainment show business is like be. a lot of production value that goes into it. But as it was trailing off, a guy who was still wearing the helmet cam started uh-huh. playing a video game and all of a sudden people started watching. Uh-huh. This was something that people found interesting hmm. watching someone Weren't play. Weren't miners doing this years ago, but just without the video? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Yes. And without the games. Yeah. They just look at each other. So yeah. they just focus so, their light on each other and just stare. stare so, that's where staring contests no. came about. So explain mines. explain Twitch culture and, and why, just psychologically, you think people enjoy watching another person play a game. Uh, I think it's because of the fact that the video games, so much of the video game industry is very insular. It's, it's very, uh, like, solitary. At least, uh, I mean, uh, well... It depends on the game, but there's a lot of games that you experience a story by yourself, Mm -hmm. you know, in your own living room or whatever. Mm -hmm. And Twitch is a way to to share that experience with a large group of people Mm -hmm. um, and sometimes a small group of people, which is almost more fun because it it gives you a chance to get to know those people a little bit better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, And and. Well, that's endemic to the gaming industry because, uh, like, my son will be online with four or five people playing a game in all parts of the world. Right. Yeah. They're just, you know, who's this guy? Yeah. Right. Yeah. And then there's, I mean, there's, there's the the multiplayer games and stuff on Twitch. I I feel like that's, that's just about watching people who are really good at video games. It's like athletics. It's like watching a sport. Yeah. 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 It's kind of the gaming culture. 
Yeah. It's- and while he's so while Kyle's on, uh, there's a whole chat thread on the right. So mm-hmm. you see the video game, and most of the screen is the video game. Then uh-huh. Kyle's in a little corner. Then you see this whole chat thread, and they all have screen names, and he can, Kyle can read the comments and respond to them. So yeah. everyone feels like they're a part of it. And God, yeah. how can you play the game and read at the same time? Uh, I don't know. He does. It. He's like it's, a multitasker. Wow, it's a challenge. You, yeah. It must be. <laughs> Usually, you if, should have a voice talking if, to you. If we're together, and I'm, I actually you can join read, in. You, you I can read, can read the yeah. chat. Ah. And then Very he good. can play. So you need a co-pilot. Yeah, a you need a navigator. Bit. It a definitely bit. helps yeah. to have rally. somebody else there with you to, to yeah. look at the chat. So Kyle's Twitch bio reads: Hi there, I'm the voice of Android. Hope, hopefully, I'll do this better on my second. Android nine S in near near. Let's see. Automata, Elm in Fire Emblem, Echoes, Shadow of Valencia, Harry Potter in Harry Potter, wi- that's the title role, Wizards <laughs> Unite, Mob in Mob Psycho 100, M- Mikazuki. Mikazuki in Mobile Suit Gundam, Iron Blooded Orphans, Ro in Devil Man, Cry Baby, and much more. So when people, when is this a new thing that's happening where voice actors will live stream on Twitch and then talk yeah. to themselves? Yeah, uh, it's something, I feel like, I was one of the the pioneers of that. <laughs> Actually, I, I started because I I streamed my whole playthrough of Near Automata, Automata, depending on who you ask about the pronunciation. Um, but well, I yeah, not I played, me. Yeah, I played. <laughs> I played. Through, I played. I played through the whole game um, on my Twitch, mm-hmm. and uh, there were a couple. There was there was a small group of guys that had been streaming a little bit of like multiplayer stuff that. Either they were voice voice actors in, or they had friends that were voice actors in, and they would have them on. Mm-hmm. Uh, but but really, there wasn't a whole lot of it going on until probably this last year or so. And now there's there's a whole lot of voice actors I know are, are jumping on and playing games that they're in, and uh, I think it's kind of cool. That Jamie are, are is a famous are. voice in a game. Uh, Who are in you? In a bunch of games. Yeah. But I, who's the main I guy? I started in Spyro the Dragon. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. I did 14 yeah. voices in Spyro. Yeah. yeah. You did. So, but that's what my got, got my son addicted to video games because they gave me a free one. Oh, hey. I came hey. Home with it. Lucky and you. He said, Dad. They don't uh, do that very often. Give and, you a free yeah. copy of the game. And I, 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 as a matter of fact, I was just, I was looking, can, I just looked up my own IMDb because I can't remember half the games. But did I oh, ever yeah, tell you, you that I've, ever, I've done a bunch of them and I have no idea yeah. what I've done? Or what <laughs> yeah. I played did I ever tell on the air the story about the uh, Gears of War breakout? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I told that on the air yeah. once. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but who's the guy that you play? Uh, Hoffman, Victor Hoffman. Hoffman, yeah. Oh, so that's me. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. So what I want to know is like, what's the technology behind it, Kyle? Because I was looking, it looks like you've kind of created a little studio, but like, how do you... Uh, using like ScreenFlow or how are you? Uh, what's the technology I that mean, makes the, it happen? The, it depends on how in depth you want to get with it because the the PlayStation Four and the I think it's the the, the Xbox One both have like integrated Twitch compatibility where you uh. can just like real quickly press go and and make it happen. Mm-hmm. Um, but most of the the more, for lack of a better word, serious Twitch broadcasters will get a a video capture card that you put into your computer. And then you plug in an HDMI output from whatever your gaming console is into that video capture device, and then that lets it talk to the computer, and then you use the computer to, to broadcast. I think the best Twitch channel ever would be my sure. mother playing Tetris, because <laughs> it would be just her going, no, 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 that's not the piece I need. No. Oh, I just funny. finally she solves a Tetris. Oh, she does. Oh, I, I love that. Tetris, I just solved Pong finally. Ah. Just yeah, just yeah. solved it. You yeah. solved it. How do you solve oh, that's Pong? Great. Yeah, have like really wide joke. paddles that don't let yeah. anything get past it. <laughs> I just, this cover, this is like uh, I, I feel like a grade three student that walked into a college lecture by accident, going, "Oh, I'm sorry." <laughs> All right, so where's the Twitch studio in your home? Because uh, it looks like you've really created uh, well, an environment. It's it's my it's it's, it's our recording studio. It's, ah, it's yeah. where we record our our voiceover auditions and where I used to record audio books. Mm-hmm. Um, so people are getting to peek into you know, yeah, your real yeah, life. Yeah, a little bit. And now it's been decorated with all kinds of fan art and stuff. Yeah, I see that. So you Pretty don't do cool. it in the closet anymore? Yeah, no. No, you're not in the closet anymore. <laughs> That's not the closet personal. Anymore. <laughs> so describe the, the Twitch community. Because we, you know, the, the boomers on this panel are like, who would who watches that? Like, do you guys watch Twitch at all? Um. He I was, don't. He was just watching Twitch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's why Sorry. he got distracted. I don't so much, but uh, uh, one of my roommates Tetris. does. But when I was younger, I was into video games, and like before Twitch, it was like with Let's Plays on YouTube. It was just yeah. like 
So it's like since video ga- since you could record yourself playing video games, there's been people that want to watch it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's I mean it's definitely it's definitely a real a real uh, urge. A, a, a quick from sidebar gamers. question mm-hmm. here: I, I, a neighbor of mine that used to be kind of a Disney kid and whatever, mm-hmm. she, she was telling me that she gets actually gets sponsored and gets paid to go online and play some games with people oh. is this on well, twitch is cool. this is this part of this or is this a whole other there, thing i mean there there are some big channels on twitch that mm-hmm. that there are sponsorship deals yeah. i'm not on i'm that just list. trying to connect the dots and wonder if that's so they're video game influencers basically yeah i think yeah. so yeah. yeah yeah those that makes sense. Definitely that's exist. a gig that's is a it gig. because people sure. are do you what do people get popular because they're good at the game or because the stuff they say is just really funny uh, Both. It's yeah. It's usually a combination. Yeah. It's usually a combination of a personality and somebody who's really good at whatever game it is that they're that they're famous for playing. Right. And and more often than not, the the really famous Twitch streamers are like they specialize in one or two games, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. that's it. Um, yeah. I, I was uh, observing something uh, by email with uh, with Wheezy earlier that uh, my father. Uh, was an actor and was involved in voiceovers and cartoons and that I that kind of influenced mm-hmm. me and I got so when he was doing it like it was like you know it was reel to reel tape he went to a studio yeah. mm-hmm. it was end of day that that's all there was when it came to me there was it was a little bit more widespread I was around for the game era you know I did some I've done some mocap so I was aware of it cool. all and went from reel reel to you know to cassette to CD yeah. to but it's interesting to hear you guys talking to see the stuff up on the screen this is millennia past where, <laughs> where I was. And even when I was doing it, I was kind of lazy about things. So I didn't partake and spread it out and get it and market. And the marketability mm-hmm. now with, oh, yeah. with, with this available yeah. is, mm-hmm. is exponential and universal. And it's just, it's amazing within literally a generation, how, how far beyond where I was with everything you guys are in your day to day existence well they're, taking, done with they're it. taking it interactively whereas mm-hmm. when we were starting off uh it wasn't that interactive i mean i, I did my first voiceover i think in 86 we've been playing footsie by the way through the whole show yeah. <laughs> have you guys unintentionally he's, he's like perpendicular unintentionally uh, lane and thomas have you clicked on Ky- kyle's twitch channel so we can see what it looks yeah, like visually? Yeah. yeah it's been up there a couple like, times uh so how do you so when you're playing the game sometimes there's like it- it's it's the cutscenes, but you're reading them. Can people turn on the sound? Like, where would they hear your voice? Uh, what through the computer? Yeah. Well, well I, I just I was watching not... you on Twitch, and you were reading all the cutscenes. Yeah. When, when do the characters talk? So I, I play. I, so a lot of the games that that we're in are these localized games that come from from Japan or from Korea or what, usually mm-hmm. Japan. But yeah. Um. So. A lot of, especially the older games, um, they don't they don't record all of the dialogue that's in the game. Mm-hmm. Some of the dialogue is just text based, right? Which for a voice actor on Twitch is kind of great material, right? For yeah. going out because then you, you get to read the, it. Yeah, you yeah. read the text out to the to the viewers. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And that's what wow, I was they, watching that's... the game because Kyle's like really tiny, and I'm like, wait, is he talking or that? Because he's good at he's good at it. So <laughs> Jeez, I, I, I want to play. Oh no, you would really like it. And, I want to play. It, it's yeah. all story based now. And for those of us who haven't played our way through an entire story, does it always have the same story, no matter how you play same the game? Ending. Yeah, yeah, the same ending. Or same I mean, that, direction. That that depends on the game you're playing yeah. mm-hmm. for sure. Mm-hmm. There are there are some games that that have multiple different endings and mm-hmm. a whole lot of different side tangents that some players will never experience because they didn't make whatever decision is required to make that happen. Games and, they're, are and they're designed super... for you to go back and play right. it over again. Right. <laughs> they, because they yeah, want sure. they want repeat. Yeah. They want replay value. Yeah, replay value, mm-hmm. exactly. Yeah. Um yeah, so games now are just super way, robust. I don't in terms know if you guys storylines. You may things. not remember this, you guys probably do. There was a an interactive live performance show called Tamara many years ago. Mm. Hmm. That played like at the at the armory down on Highland, and it was okay. a play that you got a passport for, and it was this whole thing, and it took place like in the twenties in Italy, and but you followed. It was a big house, and you chose players and followed them uh-huh. around oh, the yeah. mansion, and six people could go, and, and at the end of the night, you go, well, "What did you?" So people would go back five and six yeah. times because you yeah. never saw the whole thing. Right. That's a live version of what you're talking yeah, about, absolutely. which is really interesting. That's like an interactive theater thing. Oh, it was yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. It ran for a long time. Yeah. It was super cool. 
Uh, we're going to break for commercial, and then we're going to come right back with more questions for Kyle and for Caitlin. Let's stick around. Do you love a good story? Her American Story is a podcast for anyone who loves a good story. First and second generation American women share their American experience. Sharing our stories helps us to relate to one another, build understanding, as well as provide representation for those that need it most. I grew up in a smaller American town and lacked representation in my community and simply in media at that time. I created something I wanted to hear. I hope this podcast reaches those that need it most, as well as serves as a collection of simply interesting stories. Listen wherever you get your podcasts. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at her am story. Everyone has the story. Share yours with me. Email me at heramericanstory at gmail.com. Yay. 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 So cool. what? what is, did, there were a couple of things that I heard you reference, Kyle, during the Twitch that I was watching. You referenced Discord and you referenced uh, pod mini games. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, I made those up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. I was just kidding. It's just uh, a joke. Discord is a platform um, for, for it, it's mostly, mostly used for gamers to uh, basically to talk to each other outside of whatever oh. like oh it's it's like an it's like when i'm not online on twitch discord is the place for my little small community to go hang out and talk to each other okay um do and they has, have a name discord no, no do they have like <laughs> you know how like if you're a fan of a certain like, oh like a Swifty, what's a, what's a <laughs> they Taylor sure Swift? sure do. <laughs> like a Kyokian. Yeah. Uh, Kyokian. Yeah. Uh, See, I got to bring that up again. My my Twitch channel, my Twitch community, they, they call themselves Hacker Clan. I like that. Yeah, oh, I like cool. that. <laughs> Hacker Clan. Yeah. yeah. You saw them in, in concert. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was a but. It was a but. <laughs> we even have merch. We oh, do. You have merch. Yeah, this, this t-shirt is actually on the Hacker yeah. Clan merch store. We have store. like... You can get hoodies. <laughs> What's and the same? Where do we go to find Please the return to 2B. I think on Kyle's yeah, website. Yeah, it's not If you go to Kyle's website, you'll, you can oh, find thought, the yeah. merch. Uh, that was a t-shirt they sold at Hamlet. Yeah. I think. Yeah. yeah. To be or not uh, to yeah. be. Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> and what is what is a pod minigame? Uh, that's something specific to my my Twitch channel. Um, ah, but it's okay. it's I mean, it, it, it's the, the, the name of it anyway. Um, there's a lot of Twitch channels that have they have this automated bot software in the chat. That's that's going on, like you were talking about on the right side of the right. screen there, where people are typing in. <laughs> right. Um, there's bots that that have little mini games that you can play while you're watching somebody's channel. And my bot is <laughs> is called the Pod because it's it's a reference to the. Oh my God! Tell me this and is not going to is this going to be on the midterm? <laughs> yeah, because you just don't have enough to do. Honestly, well, a, I don't the, even understand it. <laughs> so don't feel bad. Oh no, I, don't, I don't know what's happening in well, the chat. I, I'm like, why are they why are they hitting like weird buttons and and like I, typing yeah. exclamation points? Type, and yeah, yeah. They're yeah, putting the in this. The commands the commands yeah. always start with an exclamation point. It and looks it's one word. And, like they're yeah. typing code into this thing, and I'm like, <laughs> what the hell? Like sure. this is a whole generation of hackers. Like seriously, like it just. It looks very odd. This How do you me, I don't even this know. This reminds me of the look on all the girls' faces in high school in the first day of trig class. Yeah. How do you <laughs> grade, how do you grade their papers, Kyle? <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> so I want to I want to hear about conventions because you guys go to places where people can uh -huh. find you in real life and yeah. and Jamie's been to stuff where they know who he is they know who's yeah. who mm -hmm. these voices oh, yeah. are in these it's crazy. games yeah. signing so, autographs for yeah. a voice right yeah it's absolutely nuts yeah. so they, nuts. did they recognize you when they see you uh, sometimes or do they have to hear what what you voice to get excited it's, sometimes it's getting. <laughs> <laughs> probably both. Honestly, yes, both. probably Neither. because of <laughs> probably because of Twitch and and Twitter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Twitter. People are starting sure. to recognize Our faces. Faces. Yeah. yeah. More. Well, that's that's why I started doing voiceover work because I wanted to get recognized. <laughs> right. right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You've got to hide. I was I was trying to. Jamie's got a perfect face for myself radio. And an <laughs> now, I do you, do you find that I've had a lot of people come up to autograph tables and just go, "Oh, you're the voice of this thing. I had no idea." Uh -huh. Yeah. 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 And have, do you yeah. do you find that people who are talking in your chat thread, do they come running up to you and tell you their screen name so that yes. you'll recognize them? Yes. They honestly, they usually forget to to say what their screen name is, uh -huh. but oh, they'll yeah, come they up do. and they'll say, uh -huh, "Hacker Clan says hi" or something like that. Uh -huh. Oh, great. But when you see a certain screen name in real life, are you is the thought bubble like, oh my god, I had no idea this person would look like this. I pictured someone different. Uh, <sighs> hmm. I I mean, oh, I used I to. 
I mean, back back in the, the days Honestly, of my sometimes online gaming. Honestly, sometimes I don't know if they're male or female or yeah, yeah, or you know, I I don't yeah. I have no idea what they you know I have no idea who this person is. It's just a screen name. Yeah. Now 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 I just kind of I don't formulate a picture in my head of what these people right. look. I mean, yeah. it, it it helps that I'm not I'm not hearing a voice. I'm seeing. Text. Yeah, yeah text. I have kind of the same experience because I have an app where I answer questions from teenagers uh-huh. yeah. or tweens or whatever. And it's just a screen name and they ask me a question and I answer it. I, I don't have any mental image. Right. I just mm-hmm. answer That's who they are. I just interact with them as a as a person and it's right. kind of interesting to have that experience where there's no sure. identifying right. features or it's just or the accents concept or, it's just the concept yeah that's yeah. Being yeah this yeah. person has this dilemma let me answer the question right yeah. and yeah. i've Were never it? met any there's no convention for my, for my <laughs> advice app you know? yeah i saw you tr- at the trouble teen convention yeah. <laughs> yeah. i remember you were the one with the scars <laughs> on your arm you, you oh, were the keynote speaker. Danny, you went dark. You went dark. No, Danny was the keynote speaker. That's why. Yeah, I exactly. Know. Right. Yeah. So, do people do people tend to make connections with each other and then meet offline? Yeah, they do. Oh yeah. Yeah. Is Dean okay? I, I, once yeah. a show, I get her. Uh, no, she's yeah, down. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you got her down. Yeah, that time. It's a medic. Uh, <laughs> so, so they they meet each other and then they go, they talk in what what was the place they talk? Wait, hold on, I got it. Discord. I, Discord, yeah. Yeah, and Discord. yeah, they talk in Discord. Yeah, and they and they may fall in love, like they may have their dramas or who's mad at who. And yeah, all these actually, little, absolutely, actually, oh. absolutely, oh. absolutely. Two that of the people in Hacker Clan got engaged. They're married now. They're married now. You guys yeah. are going to make oh. babies. Aren't there I know. Aren't the hack they're chances crazy. really bad when they met through Discord? I don't know. <laughs> they, they live together think. now. I mean, they, yeah, they're, like, they're, well, they're fine now. She posted that She court. moved from in, somewhere in Europe to... England, I think. To, yeah, yeah, England, I think. Oh, that's yeah, moved to, it's yeah. also amazing just how just all over the world people are. Yeah. You know? Yeah, we get mm-hmm. And that they're tuning in, and I'm like, what time is it for you? Like. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, on Twitch. Yeah, yeah. that is interesting. Yeah. It's wild. Those like gamers, the gamers Israel are up that all, week, three all in the morning, hours. right? Yeah. All hours. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Is there a chance that Twitter and Twitch will ever merge and just become Twitcher? Twitcher. Twitcher. <laughs> <laughs> I would hope so. Uh, I mean, it depends on if Twitter ever sells themselves to Amazon. So, I think. do yeah. when like people are when people are watching you play the games, and I hear you kind of saying, "Look, hey, yeah. you know, what's this do?" And and people who've played through that. Path. I forget if it's called a path or where, where, sure, sure. Where, wherever yeah. you went. Yeah. People who are familiar with it are giving you tips and chin- oh, yeah? cheats and hints I'll and tell stuff you which like that. Yeah. Don't press yes. that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> not would, this rock. Totally. No. no. I, I would. Ah. I would not be. I would not have nearly as high of a completion percentage on some of the games that I've played on Twitch without the viewers helping me. Right. Along the way. Do yeah. you have an episode yeah. where where Caitlin plays? Yeah, or Caitlin uh, helping you. Yeah, we've had. I'm I've trying to think. Played. I played Turtles in Time. Yeah, that was you. <laughs> I, played, no. oh, we were, I know we did. That we was did a, a wonderful role. We tear did, jerking. No, 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 it no. Was. No, I just played it. I we, oh, you just played it. We I did don't an episode. Voice the Ninja that's a shell game. We did an episode where you played Pwned. That that oh, that first person shooter in? you were in. Yeah, which was yeah, really yeah, cool. Yeah. That was funny. Doesn't Turtles um, in Time just take days and days and days to play? Yes. Turtles in Time. It's much slower going than the hair. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> maybe I'll no, press this. <laughs> it's, no, 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 no way. It's like sloth mania. I was gonna say you sound like the sloth. <laughs> yeah, the, the sloth yeah. mania. <laughs> what is a Danny raid? Danny was in that movie. Yeah, because well, he did all, voices. Uh, Kyle was playing the game, and he was like, "There's a raid," and then I saw other people, and oh, so yeah. what's a raid? So Twitch has a a function where when you're when you're done with your broadcast for the day or whatever. Uh, you can send all of your viewers that are still watching you as you as you disconnect to another channel. Fun. So wow. it's a it's a really it's nice feature for Twitch to to be able to like cross pollinate between different oh, well, Twitch okay. communities. Oh wow! How do you do this? Could you Twitch me now? <laughs> Could you? I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready. Yeah, we can, can get, get the you in there. Alcohol pad. I think. I, I, I think mean, it. how do how do I join your how do I join your your Twitch channel? You, have to you, just think you just open up I your just... internet browser and go to twitch.tv slash Kyle McCarley. Okay, you probably boomer. have to make an account. Yeah. yeah. And then you. Yeah. Oh, you have to tell them Not a little to watch bit it, something about yeah, yourself. To, to, commun- yes. to, to participate in the chat. Yeah. Gotta, right. You okay. Have an account. Yeah. Okay. But yeah. if you have an Amazon account, it's really easy because oh, they own Twitch. And then you come up with a name. Yeah. You invent something. Come up with some screen name and yeah. Yep. 
And then you get to forget it. Wow. Because <laughs> nobody remembers their pet. Well, yeah. that sounds like fun. I can't even get on my ATM. <laughs> so, so, ra- so have you, so your guys, when they're done, when you're off, when you're done, they'll go raid another guy's channel. How, do, raid. how, how will they know? Wh- will it, will it I'll, cycle through like where they might want to go? I, so the way that I do it is, is when I'm done with, so with my stream for the day is I'll go find, I'll go, I have a little outro video thing that's playing. And then while that's playing, I go look up other channels that are currently live on Twitch oh. and I find one that looks relevant to what we've been playing like, or something. Everybody run. And I yeah, and then I type in a little command. Homecoming Queen's got and a gun. <laughs> they they click a button and it redirects them to that channel. Cool. So, it's really geez. cute. The, the whoever's channel it is that comes up, they're always like, Oh <gasps> Kyle yeah. McCarley, yeah. thank you for rating my channel. Like it's very uh, cute. And then like, somebody oh, and then somebody from my community cute. goes, This is the voice of the thing and they're like, Oh really? What wow. yeah. That's like being at a party and the parents kick you out and say, Everybody go over to the Mitchell's house. <laughs> yeah. 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 Exactly. Yes. Seriously. What are you kids doing here? <laughs> All right, come on in. Yeah. Yeah. It's just not a play date. All right, Lane has a question for you. Oh, do, oh I do. No. Yeah, you I do. do. Yeah, he does. <laughs> he does. <laughs> um well you kinda answered it before. But my question was kind of on like, because I've watched YouTube more than Twitch. Sure. But mm-hmm. I've seen a lot of YouTubers move over to Twitch or like add Twitch to their like platforms yeah. they mm-hmm. use because it's like they cite that it's better to make money on there. So like, have you found that it's like there's more avenues because there's like the donations and stuff too. There. I mean, yeah. you, you said you didn't really. There does seem to be more monetization options on Twitch. On Twitch. Twitch, yeah. Because yeah. there's the the paid subscriptions that get you the little emojis, mm-hmm. um, and then there's yeah there's, you there's donation. A paid <laughs> prescription. I don't mean. Yeah. So it's a prescription. More than a subscription. Sure. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> but just like, but never take more you're than getting, two. You're getting a so it's like emojis. the gamification of life. You're getting People emojis. like earning things. Yeah. Well, so yes. if there's badges next to their name, right. they have like, yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. And it's uh, you earn and, them. And YouTube, yeah. basically yeah. the only okay. way to earn money is through ad revenue. Ad revenue, ad revenue yeah. and merch is like what everyone yeah, does. Yeah. because. Right. And, but the, yeah, there's not like a lot of built-in ways where it seems like Twitch, there's like... Well, Twitch has been really keen to to pick up on the things that people are doing through third party stuff and and just huh. integrate and, 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 and find that. a way to integrate. It. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. that's interesting. So, in in simple terms, they've been sort of we've been tiptoeing around it. But so you do this, how do you make money off of it besides being paid for the original right. game? merch? I don't like on the game. Yeah, movie? I don't make a lot of money off of it. It's no. it's but people more subscribe I to Twitch. As people well. will so uh, there's it's it's free to watch. But there are channel subscriptions that are, I think, five dollars a month. Right. There's what they start at, and um, and I get half of that or something. And what, Twitch what keeps does the other a sub, half. Uh, subscription it gets, get you? it gets them little it? channel exclusive, like little emojis that they can use in the to chat. Earn towards. Uh, it does, it's just it's, personal cheating. Yeah, if it just, goes next yeah. to their name in uh-huh. the chat, yeah, they get a little oh, badge. just like a video game. They get a little badge like next having, to their name, and yeah. Yeah. you put your name there, and you get five stars, and in the army because yeah. you're really great. Yeah. Yeah. Three yeah. months Anything. sober, Tetris, yeah. like your mom. Right. It's we all like we like they, they click your subway card, and you're closer to a free sandwich. We all like earning things, right. and yeah. Yeah. we're proud of merit badges, and so it's kind of a merit badge, but. You know, it's it's just interesting to see how people are interacting and and having fun and enjoying themselves, a sense of community, you know, and learning oh. how to and, play well. And together. it has such medieval origins. Yes. Yeah. The, but the <laughs> other the other thing too is I think a lot of people like supporting someone they watch yeah. directly. Like yeah. that's why Patreon is taking off yeah. so much right, right now because it's like they're trying to get the companies like they don't we don't need to go through ad revenue on youtube yeah, i can just right. give you five dollars a month because yeah. i like the content you're producing and that's that's exactly the like the, yeah. the only reason anybody gives me that five bucks a month is they don't they don't need the little badge they don't need the it's because they 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 like they want to they like they contribute. Like yeah, they, they want to contribute right. so, and they want to like feel like they're an official part of the community yeah. like they want to feel like feel, they feel, helped build it it's a yeah. sense of in belonging sense. Right. Yeah. So, oh I, 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 yeah it's like let's let's have a barn raising and every yeah. time you pass that barn you're like i helped build that barn yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, exactly yeah. it's a fan club you feel like totally. you're in, cl- in the, word the club. inner track you know yeah it's right. a fan club and so we've, right. we've nice. also on twitch we've raised nice. money for for certain things like i know my oh, friend it's a great place to do charity yeah i my friend uh r- helps run um an animal rescue and we decided one night she had a huge uh problem happen with one of her animals and i went on there and 
We were like, hey, if you anything you give us tonight is going to go to this rescue. And we yeah. raised a lot of money for it. Yeah. And it was really and, cool. And, and yeah. Anytime Terrific. we're doing so, a charity donation drive, it always it always gets yeah. a lot of donations to come in. Yeah. Now, yeah, now how how often do you do this? Uh, do you do it to every day for four hours, every day for six hours? Some people do. Some no. people. How uh, often do you do this? <laughs> no. Jenny stole my question, but that's I uh, uh, I say, I've 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 gotten to a point where I stream every Saturday and Sunday morning, uh, uh, but on Saturday mornings it's a different thing because it's that's that's my friends and I play Those board are games. Yeah. <laughs> we Saturday we play board games, board games on my Saturday morning. Slot. Kyle's a board game fanatic. I'm a so, big fan of board games. So, so can, ah, yeah. that's just something I do for me. So you play really. board games on video? Yeah. 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 Okay, so people can watch you play par Parcheesi or. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's not Parcheesi. Do you have yeah. problematic yeah, trouble? Because yeah. that's always yeah. <laughs> I, I, shoots and ladders. I, I, I want to watch him play shoots. I've got and a ladders. big, sort of a grander, a bigger issue question that's connected to what he said. He uh -oh. was talking about how many hours a day you do it, right? But I'm curious what your your view of how much how how many people play this and how many hours of their day and how much of their life is consumed by this activity as opposed to normal regular life stuff what it used right. to be yeah there is not normal regular it's well, just no, what no, it used I, to be i'm, I'm not judging i'm just the, saying, like, some what's people your, have what's like, your perception of twitch it? is like their full-time job yeah. yeah some people do the it like twitch streamers eight hours will go eight hours a day, hours yeah. a day oh, five days a week okay. but that's, right. that's what i was thinking as you were yeah. discussing it i right. thought well, you, you know but you that's do this not for a living. you can you can but then then your 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 life is Sitting in front of a then you got a retail store. A yeah, you got a retail do. store. It's yeah. the same thing. Yeah, it's a lot yeah. of Mountain Dew. But I want to say about yeah. board games, like I was, I was, I was teasing <laughs> board games, but actually, board games are like super strategic and layered and in, in yeah. depth and like fascinate. Board games are kind of having a moment board games are yeah. really yeah, really are. deep yeah are they coming totally. back are pe people yeah. having game nights kyle can talk oh, more yeah. about it and my nephew is hugely into it and like the more yeah. pieces and the more complexities and layers to it the more oh, yeah. he likes my it. son's yeah. the same way is he yeah, yeah. loves it so you yeah, have a son is he is he oh so uh oh, kyle <clears throat> his name's Caitlin, isabel do people get a notification when you go live so that they uh know? yeah if they if you follow <laughs> the channel which is that's mm -hmm. that's different from a subscription just following the channel uh, me and and you've got your settings configured on your Twitch account or whatever. Then yeah, you get a notification on your phone or or an email or whatever whenever we go live. Kyle well. also tweets it out. Yeah, and I and yeah, if I I'm doing it, Twitter. maybe I'll tweet it out. But most no, people that follow Kyle will follow yeah. me, so it doesn't matter if I do it. <laughs> now, do you two um watch other other Twitch streamers? Do you have any favorites that you like to watch? I don't watch a whole lot. Um, no. I watch the the NWHL has a couple Twitch channels and they broadcast all of the. He's a hockey Northwest Hockey League. The the Na the National Women's Hockey League. We're crying out loud. Yeah, they right. they broadcast all of their their hockey games on Twitch, which cool. is kind of cool. Mm -hmm. So I'll, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I'll watch I'll watch those when I don't have anything going on. Um, um can um, you click on the keep talking, Kyle? After I say this, can you click on the daily dot link, guys? Because. Uh, there's a link uh, for that shows you some of the. Oh no! For the first one is the. What? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. So these are. Go ahead and scroll through that. <laughs> these are some of the Twitch, some of the top Twitch people in, in 2019. Not a moment too soon. Finish that thought, Kyle. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. I'll watch. I I I will occasionally tune in if I see that one of my friends is one of my other fellow voice actors is is playing something that they're in or whatever. Six I'll, I'll go tune million. into that. Mm -hmm. So if you're if you're into Fortnite, for example, and you and you watch uh, someone playing Fortnite on Twitch, can you learn strategies and and? Oh yeah, sure. yeah. If you go is tune it in, helpful? If you go tune into the the, the those pro gamers that Techniques. are playing, yeah, like Doctor Disrespect is a big name in huh. the Twitch world. So I'll you can going. learn by watching great yeah. players. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That guy's um, rocking a hardcore beard right there. It's gonna. Uh. Yeah, and there are some there are some people like Doctor Disrespect is the first one that comes to my mind that I know of that is like that he's created this persona that mm -hmm. is just being a douche basically ah. to everybody that he comes across in online games mm. and uh, and people eat that up and they yeah. just want to sit there and watch him be mean <laughs> to people. Um, I know there was a guy on one of the Grand Theft Auto role playing servers who was dressing up as a police officer. Oh. And he was running around in the game, like trying to pull people over 
in the game oh, and okay. like <laughs> this sounds like the plot of a lot of SVUs I've watched. <laughs> hey, um, have you exactly. guys you guys have heard about Avatar I don't know murders. what it's called, but there was a reply all episode about this. That's how I know all of my internet mm -hmm. um lore is that you um this is horrible. Like kids do not do this. But okay. they they what they do is like someone someone like well, Doctor Disrespect, Disrespect. Is, is playing and they um they call in a uh, a hostage situation, and they're oh. while they're watching oh. him play the game live. Swatting, the, swatting. Okay. I, I've read about swatting. Describe and explain. Uh, uh, you know when mosquitoes are yeah. bothering you. It's, 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 it's highly yeah. illegal. No, it's, That's yeah, where it's mine super illegal. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's calling in a, a false report, a false police report on somebody. Basically, it's 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 you you find out what is what's the other word? Uh, doxing, where you find out real world information about some person and on the internet some mm -hmm. guy got killed that way yeah really yeah, probably you can, more you, than one you go, I'm, I'm sure more than one of them if you yeah, google exactly. anybody's name followed by the word address typic if they own property you're going to be able to find out where they live yeah. so they go on the internet and they find out where <laughs> somebody lives cool and I'm they, scared <laughs> yeah it's terrifying yeah, yeah that's and then horrible. they find out they find out where somebody lives and if they d don't like this person or whatever then they call in a they call the local police department and yeah, they can and find you they they report some like we heard gunshots at this address or whatever, and then the SWAT team shows up, and at everyone's the front door. watching it live because they're yeah. watching the guy stream, and then they hear him react to yeah. oh my the God. banging on the door. And what son, word. do you want to do that or help an old lady Super across yeah, the street? Oh, that's yeah. pretty hilarious. That's though. not part of Twitch. What's up? <clears throat> no, 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 it's not part of Twitch. It's just but something it's just, that's happening. It, the the I things didn't that know this people that. the things that people will think of to do to other people yeah. is just nuts. Remarkable. Yeah. <laughs> They must be really bored. Yeah. I mean, I on always a, thought I was bored, but yeah. they're really bored. Yeah. On, on bored. a lighter note? Yeah. <laughs> yes, please. You oh, can also send over oh, balloons. <laughs> yes, no, but, but on the... There's confetti. <laughs> Who sent balloons to me? <laughs> <laughs> on the subject of Jenny like... just hit the goal. <laughs> watching real life things with streaming, when the earthquakes happened here... Like, uh, there was, like, so many videos online of, like, compilations oh. of Twitch streamers yeah. that were playing while the earthquakes happened. Oh, oh that's funny. And it's, like, <laughs> yeah, it's oh. very funny. <laughs> it because funny? They, none of them were, like, near the episode, but it's just, like, they're playing and, like, the they're, whole room starts shaking. Yeah. They're, like, what's happening? <laughs> they're, like, what? Yeah. Yeah. Documented. But, yeah, it's, but sure. it's, yeah, it's crazy. Like, you just get these weird little, like, pockets of insight to, like, it's, yeah. You know, like, you get, like, you're giving people sort of, like, a window into your world, and they're getting to chat to you, and then yeah. they're thinking, like, how else could I interact with this person that I'm I'm watching for hours and hours, and I just want to have a, more involvement? Yeah. you know, well, that was three point six. I'm uh, not going to miss a move. <laughs> well, that, that, that bring that brings up your your exposure to the general public. Yeah. On, on Twitch, how does how does that affect you? I mean, do people bully you in any way, or or, or did you do you find anybody aggressive out there, or is That's it a all question? Is it all real friendly? Yeah. Is it real nice? No. There was only maybe one or Me. two people who ever got on and said something. That you had killed. I, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> one or two people. Yeah. yeah. Not yeah. bad. No. Not no. bad. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. His, his oh screaming was... I, I have to check my anything. Twitch account. Yeah, um, snuff boy. Okay. Anymore. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I mean... Eh. There, every now and then there might be one or two people that'll say something that's inappropriate or yeah or yeah. or, or you mean. just don't react to them I honestly so. most of the time I ignore it yeah I yeah. just I give you it either no ignore it. that's what Jamie does with me um, right I have I have a couple <laughs> people in my in in my community that I have have I've named as moderators in the twitch chat oh smart. so they so they, they, they kind of police things and make sure that if somebody starts being a little bit aggressive or, it's like or neighborhood whatever. Neighborhood watch. Yeah. Right. And yeah, honestly, exactly. it protects really? Kyle from having to be it's the bad guy. Something. Yeah. So Kyle yeah, sure. doesn't have to get on there and be like, you're blocked. Sure. Do they like, get a special emoji? You're fired. They yeah. do get a little badge. Yeah. No, they, they, get a they lose an emoji. Then other people yeah. will respect them. Yeah. 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 No, they get, get the yeah. emojis ripped off of their shirt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All ceremony. right. Does anyone here know uh, uh, or can you name any celebrities who stream on Twitch? So oh boy. wait. Other than like ourselves, Twitch celebrities or uh, famous no, or people. Famous. They were famous yeah. for something else. Okay. These are two separate Jeopardy categories. Um, <laughs> I feel like I don't know. There's a football player, and it wasn't Terry Crews. It was somebody. Uh, I can't Pablo remember. Pablo Cruz. I can't remember. You can't now. list people who it wasn't. <laughs> yeah. Nah. That will yeah. take a yeah. list. Yeah, you have to start your list somewhere. All right. Can you uh, click now, on the ranker okay. site, guys? And, and uh, then I'll let Jamie and Danny read from it. Good Best select. This is titled. Oh, it was Terry Crews. Yep. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh. Yay. 
I, I don't He's know. He's a great guy. Yeah. All right, go ahead and read these because I don't know who a lot of these people are. Herman Lee. Herman Lee? Is he a guitarist? Chinese musician. Who? It was uh, Peggy Lee's husband. You're, you're closest to it, Louise. You can read it. Oh, I can read it. Brendan Urie. <laughs> he's the lead singer of Panic at the Disco. Well, Panic at the Disco. Yeah, oh, that, okay. That guy oh, had a duet great. with Taylor Swift, right? Yes. Post, Post Malone, Malone, obviously. Yep. Snoop Dogg. Oh, yeah. I knew, uh, that's Snoop. right. He's I remember, Snoop Snoop Dogg. I remember when he was Twitch. pre-Malone. <laughs> <laughs> Mia Khalifa? Yeah, uh, she's great. Uh, Matt, how do you say that name? Heffy? Heffy. Heffy or Heffy? Heffy. He looks like he's a guitarist. Steve, Steve Aoki. Aoki. Yeah, he's, I know that name. He's been on he's Twitch. He's a DJ. Huh. Uh, T-Pain. Steve Aoki, yeah. and then T-Pain. T-Pain. But does T-Pain Twitch? Does he Twitch in that T-Pain voice? <laughs> I don't know. Do you know he's he was born <laughs> T-Pain Goldberg? <laughs> oh, Juju so, was the other football player. That's the one you were who? thinking. Who was the other one? Juju Smith Schuster. Oh. He plays for the Steelers. Oh. Yeah. Logic is on Twitch. Juju Juju man. Smith. Oops. Whoa. Someone refreshed the page, so, or the page refreshed itself. Wow. So we lost. This is uh, something Haley should do. Do what? It moved to the next link. Get on this. Play, oh, is, does she, she, is she a gamer? Does she like games? Well, yeah. Or she maybe Thatcher, wanted, could, Thatcher want, could do it with her. They wanted her to do a game, to design a game. Really? About her. Yeah. It, it was, um, you know, I, I think that... Uh, Jamie's daughter is a famous I pop think, star. Because For those she of has, you playing at home. Well, one of her huh. videos has 116 million views. She's that's, so, that's not a I, small number. No, no <laughs> it's not. And and she's got all these followers. Wow. And maybe this is something she should hook into. Something that a lot of people could hook into. You could start to a just, country. Just <laughs> talk to each other. And and I know I know when I tell people that I do voiceover work, mm -hmm. they go, "Oh my God, how do I get into that? How can I start doing that?" And it seems to me that this Twitch format. Could help people who are trying to get into the business or develop is that, a personality. Is that true? I, I mean, do you, do you talk to each other enough, or is it all text? I uh, mm, do you ever talk to each other in voices? Stump the band. Mm, <laughs> you know what? No. Let's talk to each other in voices. Go ahead. Because <laughs> you have three, uh, four voiceover people here. All right. What? Oh, should we throw out a topic, Dina? Um, well, give us something to read. All right. What's going on in the news? Let's talk about the impeachment trial. Well, I uh, frankly wish I was one of those senators because I'll tell you what, for Christ's sake, I would get in there and I'd I'd bang a few heads. That's what I do, God damn it. I, why do they call it impeachment? Don't they have any other flavors? <laughs> I don't get it. Peachment. <laughs> Peachment, that's right. How many scoops, sir? Wait, wait, I've got a scoop. <laughs> Go ahead, Charlie. Hold the Tell press. Me. Go ahead. Hold front page. Let it out. Hold my leg. <laughs> oh, is that your leg? Not wow. anymore. Not anymore. 38, 24, 36, <laughs> and that's your right leg. No, no, the old ladies have killed 12, and we've killed 12, Johnny. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's very difficult to really uh, burst through the, the, the fog, I think. Don't you, Paul? Well, you know, it's it depends on which album you're talking about because right. you know, and, and this and it's but you know playing it backwards doesn't tell you anything. Paul, you is alive. Yeah. <laughs> Paul yeah, is yeah. alive. Nice. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I just didn't want to stop that flow. No, I know. That was, that was glorious. So good. Yeah. We do this when the room's empty. I know <laughs> you do. I'm in the dark. Yeah. 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 I turn out the lights and go to bed, and they're, yeah. they're still here. Frankly, I do it by myself quite frequently. Send them to the Goldberg house. Well, we're going to have to wrap up this show no. today because, uh, oh, because no. what's happening, oh, right. what's you know, do? by way of full disclosure, She's is that I have a husband in Santa Barbara who's yes. just gone under the knife. Yes. And yes. uh, they stitched up a tendon in his foot, and he can't put any weight on it. And this was a street attack. <laughs> this happened. This happened. He was, was, it's, 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 it's was rehearsing a West Side Story. Somebody, he's just gone under the knife. Attacked him with a knife yeah. and yeah. actually replaced he is something a shark. in his body. Oh. Okay. oh my god! <laughs> so a, he he can't person. put any weight on it, and his sister and brother-in-law are caring for him. Good. And I have to but relieve have to them. So she that they does this every week, and that's the worst yeah. excuse she's come up with yet. Really. <laughs> It's pretty true. It's yeah. pretty true. So I want to thank you, uh, Caitlin Galt and Kyle yes. McCarley, for being with us. Very nice. I want to thank, thank our panel, Jamie, Thanks. Al Croft, and Danny Mann, in the movie of Thomas Hubble and Lane McFadden, the two handsomest men 
in podcast They're gorgeous. technology. They're uh, gorgeous. I'm way out of their league. Our producer is Dina <laughs> Friedman. <laughs> Call back to the Call beginning back. of the show. Yeah. Our producer is Dina Friedman. Our uh, our uh, webmaster is Bill Filipiak. Our sound mixer is John Maddox. I am Louise Planker. We will see you next week. Be safe, be well, be kind. <laughs> <laughs>